we always concern about the security and safety mm -hmm. what do you say about security and safety at your university lovely now like i said that you know wooster as a city is culture it's very culturally diverse so we have different communities so i think uh, in the history if you go to see people are used to seeing different communities so it's quite a safe city there are okay. always you know there are little corners which are not uh, you know not very good for safe the students, and yes. then but we what we do is when the orientation takes place okay. we tell students which areas not to go to okay but in the periphery of our campus is very very safe okay. and even in the students area students do not have any challenges okay. and like any other university we have the wpi police on campus okay yeah we have these different poles at different distances okay. all across the city and in the students housing area so if they feel that something is not very safe they can always go and press the, press the button you know and button and okay. the police will be right okay. there um in fact it's, it's absolutely very safe in fact in the way it's fit is very late in the night say about 1 o'clock in the night and you're not very feeling very safe to go back to your room mm -hmm. you can always ask the police to drop you you know so oh, okay. and that's very normal to have the police dropping you at your place wow, if you're feeling wow. unsafe wow that's a great thing this hi guys Uh, today we are going to talk about one of the best university in USA. That means कि आज एक एवो podcast लेने वाले रहे हो चुके जेमा US universities ने information साबरे जाने चुके कि आ universities से what are the requirement, what are the courses they are offer, एम नो location कहीं उच्चे अने ना US fees कहाँ जाए? Because घना बजा students होने abroad educations मा problem आउट हो चुके specifically in US है कि कई universities सारी अने any requirements होचे तो आज आप जोड़े से पॉडकास्ट में मिस दीपिका फुकान नॉट दीपिका पादुकोण ओके तो शी इज बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ आई थिंक आई केन से वॉचेस्टर वोरचेस्टर और डब्ल्यू और वॉचेस्टर देर आर द थ्री डिफरेंट नेम पीपल हैव इन देर माइंड तो वी केन क्लियर इट टुडे ओके तो वेलकम दीपिका थैंक यू सर थैंक यू दर्शन सर फॉर हैविंग मी हियर यस हाई एवरी वन यस तो टुडे Uh, I just want to ask you few more questions regarding the. I'm w excited. Yes. Yeah. yes. So <laughs> first is how we can pronounce WPI. Okay, so WPI in India, most of the people I hear they call it Worcester. Worcester, yes, yes. But is Worcester? So the R is silent. So it's okay. Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Okay. So can you tell me more about uh, this university, where it is located, and what are the program uh, these universities are offering? Yes. Okay. And uh, that's the most important question, I guess, for everyone. Well, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. We are the third oldest private tech university in the U.S. Okay. So U.S. has about four thousand public and private, private universities, universities today. We've been consistently ranked in the top hundred. Oh, okay. We Great. rank number eighty-two. Okay. So, uh, so we really take pride in that. Wow. Uh, I work with the business school. I take care of the Southeast Asia and Middle East operations. Okay. So I can uh, talk about WPI and WPI Business School later. Uh, so with uh, WPI, we are uh, one of the great. We are like the uh, what do you call? We leaders in project based learning and STEM education. Okay. Uh, we are based out of uh, Massachusetts. Oh. And wow. uh, yeah. So we are close to the capital city Boston. I believe right. everyone knows Boston. Yes, yes. So we're very close to Boston. We are about an hour from Boston. Okay. So that region is called as New England, and now students prefer to call it uh, Greater Boston area Greater because Boston, Boston yes. is extending. So yes. it's called the Greater Boston area. Right, right, right. So and we're not very far away from New York, by the way. We're about three and a half hours to four and a half hours, depending on the traffic again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so very close by. We're very close to Connecticut, Rhode Island. There's yes. New Hampshire on the top. Right. right. Vermont. So yeah, very strategically placed. Place. And Worcester is in the center of Massachusetts. Okay. So we're in the heart of Massachusetts, is what I would like to say. Great. great. Yeah. So I think the stu student will not face any issue about the grocery. and accommodation because our gujarati students always think about where my where is my son is going to get the grocery or food so i think it is connected to <laughs> boston so i think that not be a, that should not be any issue for sure absolutely of course you know uh, education is important but food is equally important, equally important. and i think we've grown up eating our indian, indian food foods. so you'll be happy to know that we do have near wooster there's something called as shoesbury okay. which is a town barely about 5 minutes from wooster okay. 
and even in Booster itself in the students area, right. there's Patel Brothers. Patel Brothers. So, okay. uh, and Brothers. there are a few other yes. groceries Brothers as well. well. But Patel Brothers apparently has got very economic uh, pricing, for, pricing the for the students. Yes. Yeah, so shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. And you'll be also a little surprised that we have a neighboring area where there are temples. There's also a Jain community. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. But that so, means, they, means in, uh, you will have a religious uh, outlook as well yes. on campus or nearby the campus. Absolutely. And Booster, otherwise as well, is is very known for his diversity, the cultural okay. diversity. Uh, I know, uh, you know, when uh, when the Britishers came to the U.S. for their religious freedom and they created okay. Boston, New England area, Worcester was one of the cities. Uh, you know, it it kind of attracted people from all, all across the world because okay. the kind of work opportunities it had. Right. So we and it's a very di when I say diversity, then there's also and cultural diversity. Uh, it's a very creative uh, city. Okay. So you see a lot of mural paintings, beautiful okay. museums. There's different cultural uh, activities happening, okay. so students get to explore. If you love theatre, if right. you love different, you know, music okay. festivals. So there's constantly, uh, Wooster is always booming with different activities. Okay. So okay. a lot to learn and explore and enjoy okay. the so city. That, I, we can say it's a very live atmosphere over there, or means students cannot get bored, right? Students won't get bored. Okay. Unless they want to sit inside their inside houses also. and you know just so only is, study. <laughs> okay. So there is lots of activities going on in, uh, in the universities and surrounded by that. Okay, great. Sure. That's a great thing. Uh, also, I would like to ask you a few more questions regarding the accommodations because okay. how how you are handling the accommodation at the university and what are the options we have. Yeah, I think that becomes so important for students because it's very easy to say that I'm going to the city. But the accommodation is essential because again, it, if it's too expensive, it's a big, uh, it's really stressful for students. And again, if it's too far, the travel distance is a big it's issue. A big issue yes. yes. So uh, the amazing part is that booster economically, if you really say it is more affordable than okay. the big cities like New York and Boston, they're very okay. expensive. Booster is relatively about 900 to 1,200. Okay. So students have two options. They can okay. stay on uh, at the university mm -hmm. uh, housing on campus, or yes. on campus and also outside the campus. Okay. I would say our housing is actually outside the campus, right. uh, but it's all part of the city. Okay. So if you see that, you know, WPI is right in the center okay. and students from all across, you know, wherever they stay, it's only 15 minutes uh, walking okay. and it's beautiful. So okay. Wooster, if you really Google and see how beautiful the city is, you would love to actually walk it up to your okay. classes. Okay. Uh, we also have bus shuttles, okay. free bus shuttles. And there are also uh, something called as the limo. Okay. Limo service, a car service, which okay. is also free for students. Okay, it's so free um, for students. It's free for students. So okay. students can choose to do university housing, which is about $800 uh, you know, for students, which okay. sometimes becomes a little expensive for yes. students. But then there are these private housing, which is just next to our housing, uh, you know, university housing. Okay. Uh, in that area, the range is somewhere anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 US dollars. Okay. Uh, we do have, uh, it's about two or three bedroom mm -hmm. and about three, four students, you know, they share those uh, okay. um, apartments. apartments. So it becomes yes. extremely economical for students. Right, and yeah, right. the best part is living together with a bunch of students, you can cook, cook eat your meals. Yes. And you <laughs> and have a different, different meal as well. Yeah, and you want, you want to have someone, you know, in the room uh, to kind of talk to, talk to yes. you know, you'll, uh, you'll enjoy the whole uh, hostel, hostel, the whole uh, life. The yeah, yes, yes. yeah, it's, it's fun. It's going to be a life for sure. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And also... Uh, and people finally learn cooking, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, student must need to learn cooking because yeah. it's, it's, it's really helpful for you when you are traveling out of India or going for further education abroad. Uh, topmost question from from Gujarat region, I can yeah. say, uh, we always concern about the security and safety. Mm -hmm. What do you say about security and safety at your university? Lovely. Now, like I said that, you know, Wooster as a city is culture, it's very culturally diverse. So we have different communities. So I think uh, in the history, if you go to see people are used to seeing different communities. So it's quite a safe city. There okay. are always, you know, there are little corners which are not uh, you know, Not very safe. The and yes. then, but we, what we do is when the orientation takes place, okay. we tell students which areas not to go to. Okay. But in the periphery of our campus is very, very safe. Okay. And even in the students' area, students do not have any challenges. Okay. And like any other university, we have the WPF police on campus. Okay. Yeah, we have these different poles at different distances okay. all across the city and in the students' housing area. So if they feel that something is not very safe, 
they can always go and press the, press the button, you know yeah. button and okay. the police would be right okay. there um, in fact it's, it's absolutely very safe okay. in fact in the way it's fit is very late in the night say about one o'clock in the night and you're not very feeling very safe to go back to your room mm -hmm. you can always ask the police to drop you you know so oh, okay. and that's very normal to have the police dropping you at your place wow, if you're feeling wow. unsafe wow that's a great thing this way okay now uh, let's let's talk about the business program yeah. and like how many programs are there uh, and what are the requirements so we will take it out step by step sure so first of all uh, i would like to ask you that uh, what are the main programs you are offering at the wpl Okay, at the WPI Business, business school, school, yes, yeah, we're not a traditional business school. Okay, we're a tech business school because we're a tech university. Okay, so our business school is all about how do you implement technology to bring innovation in businesses. Okay, so if you see the course program, we have five course programs. Okay, four specialties and one MBA. These are all STEM focus programs. Okay, all STEM focus programs. All STEM. They are two year programs. Okay. All the programs are the specialities are 33 credits. Okay. The MBA is 36 credits. Okay. And we have two specialities in each of the program. Wow. And okay. uh, students also, like I said, we are a project. We are lead. We are leaders in project based learning. So students get to learn through different, uh, you know, working with real time companies during okay. the entire course program okay. and we have something called as the capstones capstones okay. are again real time pro, uh, you know yes. uh, projects, projects that students do, do and we have two yes. kinds of those capstones okay. students have to learn how to kind of work in teams okay uh, when you especially in a in a space like us which is so dynamic in culture yes. You have to learn to work with people from different countries. Okay. So we bring students together. We have different projects which we do, which they can take it in their first year itself. Okay. Uh, you know, they learn from different, uh, what do you call it? We put them together. Okay. We try to teach them how to work in teams, how to okay. communicate, how is, uh, you know, how to innovate things, how the teamwork helps them. Okay. And then the second year is when they go for a real time project with one of the companies and these projects are mostly sponsored projects okay so that means what i can see that it's all about the project based learning and the practical learning exactly it's not yes. going to be a theoretical right no so if okay. you'll see the course program we have information technology okay which is tech and business okay and then we have business analytics which is again a very popular amongst our yeah, Indian students bit, yes, today. Very, yeah. yeah, operations and supply chain uh, analytics, okay. which is again a newer program uh, in most universities today, but uh, has a lot of opportunities. Okay, a financial technology, the known as popularly known as fintech. Oh, okay, it's a, um, it's a new word, right? Fintech. Fintech is a new word. It's a right. big industry. Big industry. It's a four yes. trillion dollar industry in the U.S. Okay, uh, okay. we can talk more about it if you have questions on sure. that. And we have the MBA in analytics. Okay. So a lot of students, you know, have this question: I don't have work experience. Am yes. I a right fit for a for the MBA program? Right, right. So we ha do have an MBA which is online for people with work experience. Okay. Uh, we rank really high for that program, and we've okay. introduced the MBA in analytics for students okay. with no experience. Okay. Uh, it has some great specialization, right, from business analytics, operations analytics, okay. marketing okay. analytics. Students who want to do project management, okay. uh, they want to do product management, so and AI, of course, AI in businesses. So there's a lot of speciality options the students okay. have. So I have a question on that, Miss. Uh, in if the student is ready to go in MBA program, so right. you have a different different specializations. Yes. Like business analytics, information system, yes. or you can say supply chain management. Okay. So Miss, student can select the. Uh, major courses right exactly yes okay so the degree will be showing that the major or uh, the whole degree the yes. degree will show us MBA in analytics. MBA in analytics. Yes. Okay, great. And it's a STEM program? It's a STEM program. So that means a student will get 36 months of OPT extension. They will well. get, yes. Okay. And okay, that's that's a fantastic news. I can say like MBA. Okay, there is a there is lots of things going on like MBA required, GMAT, GRE. Uh, like do you think your your university have that requirement? So uh, we decided to waive off. It's optional for students. Optional for students. Uh, what we really look is into the students' academic documents. Okay. If they have, uh, you know, good grades in their uh, core subjects. Okay. That's what we look at. Uh, we have waived. So it's optional. If the student does not have a very good score, say, in statistics. Okay. But has a very good GRE, uh, you right. know, score. So it really helped them to uh, kind of, uh, you know, show their... Uh, they are, that they are strong with strong their maths with their and their stats. Right, right, so right. for GRE is optional and okay. GMAT is optional for students. Great, great. So, and uh, I would like to ask you that what are the requirements, like language requirements, because right now IELTS, Duolingo and TOEFL, right? So what are the three major requirements for the business school? 
Okay, for the business school, I mean for the overall WPI, okay. we uh, for us the English proficiency test is is very important. Yes. Uh, we require in IELTS we require a minimum of seven. Okay. Uh, TOEFL is ninety. Okay. Uh, and we know that sometimes it's not very easy for students to you know have those high scores. Yes. Duolingo is a good option. Yes. Uh, that's 115. 115. Okay. Right. Great. So uh, I have uh, one more question on this. Miss, do you provide ESL course or it will be a direct admission or conditional or unconditional admission? Uh, we do not have uh, conditional offers. Okay. So uh, if the student does not meet the requirement, okay. we ask them to retake and come back to us. Okay. okay. Uh, however, students, once they are admitted at WPI, they have to uh, take the English test again. Okay. And if we think that the student requires some kind of support and do not does not match uh, mm -hmm. the English proficiency skills, skills. we definitely have uh, those uh, opportunities on campus. Okay, okay, great. Now, uh, another thing I would like to ask you is that like, if student would like to join WPI, can you tell me three major points why sh student should select WPI? Good question. I, I wish I could, uh, you know, you would have told me 10, 10, 10 yes. or 11, I love to say 10, but, but let's yeah. take on top the three, top yes. three. I think uh, one most important thing students want to go and study at a university where they can, uh, you know, it is because it's going to be their resume yeah. and lifelong, right? You're going yeah, to be talk, talking yes. about where you have uh, graduated from. Right. Uh, so we are, the, like I said, we are, we are a century old university with a very high ranking. We've been consistently ranked in the top 100 okay. and we rank 82 right okay. now. Um, and uh, our the business school is a double ACSB accredited. Okay, Five percent of the world's business schools are accredited by AACSB. Okay. So that only means the quality of education that you know we are working on um, is fantastic. Our curriculums get updated every single year. Okay. So I think that's one big reason. Okay. Our uh, second reason is students they always talk about return on investment. Yes, always. Yeah. Yes. Uh, investment. And I do understand that's uh, because a lot of our students from India they take education loan. Yes. And one of the things they always want is they get a good job. Good job. Yeah. And and, um, and they're able to like pay off that pay off uh, you know loans within yes. the three years. Yes. So our fees is quite affordable at the business okay. school. Uh, it was only fifty four thousand US dollars. Okay. So we decided that we will give an entire twenty thousand US dollar scholarship directly. Okay. So we brought it down to thirty four thousand six fifty. So in Indian okay. currency for two years. Okay. Um, our specialty courses are about twenty eight lakhs Indian currency. 28 lakhs for yes, two years. Yes, for two years in oh, total. Wow. Yeah, that's, it's quite that's a affordable. very affordable university, I guess. Right. Say. And, and it's a big brand. It is. It is a big brand. It is yeah. a big brand. Okay. <laughs> so that's the second point, second return point, on yes. investment. And I think the third one would be, uh, there are many more, but I think one of the things I'll like combine this mm -hmm. um, is the project-based learning. Yes. Okay, learning through experiences to be able to have that experience from the first semester onwards okay. in their two years. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities to work on real-time projects. Okay. Uh, we have different small businesses around Worcester, uh -huh. in Massachusetts, okay. companies like uh, Accenture, there's uh, Polar Beverages and so many more, you know. Okay. So students get those opportunities to work yeah. and learn. So when you're done with the two-year program, because a lot of students are freshers, they don't have that kind of an experience. Yes, yes, so we have, have, it's not like one semester, they just work on projects. You mm -hmm. work throughout the two years. Okay. So that's one great reason why I think, you know, students love studying at WPI. Okay. Um, and the last bit is the kind of support system that we have for yes, students yes. at, uh, you know, our career uh, so, yes, you know, yes. department. Uh, well, we are one of the rank, there's an award-winning career center at WPI. Um, so we have a great team who works on supporting our students. Okay. We have big career fairs at the business school specifically. We have the business week. Right. Uh, we have entrepreneurship nights, women entrepreneurship okay. nights, a lot of uh, virtual uh, networking sessions with companies. So. There's a constant, uh, you know, networking happening with companies, okay. so with for is, students. Uh, so it's open for everyone? It's, it's open, open for students? It's open for all business school students. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. The and student can get interaction with those people? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's how, you know, there are a lot of success stories of our students, which yes. I would love to probably share it uh, on another Please. video whenever you have, you know, Any, we can anyone, do it next anyone, time. Anyone, anyone is. Uh, yeah. And, um, share. I'll tell you one recent one. So one of our students who's from Indore, Pratyush, okay. uh, one of the things he told us is that, you know, he got through Netflix for his internship. Oh, okay. And we were like, oh, what do you, what, you know, 
uh, how was it? You know, what was your experience? Right. What did they ask right. you? Right. I think one, he really felt good that he was competing with students from MIT. Oh wow! And he was one of the yeah yeah, and he was talking about how he was so happy to be competing with some of All the right. best students right. across the US. And he is, uh, yeah, so I would say that we do bring in, so like I said, you know, we were a century old, WP has been a brand name amongst a lot of recruiters and companies. We have a lot of support uh, tools for students. Okay. For example, one night if a student just panics and gets up and wants to understand, what do I do? How do I know where are the jobs? jobs yes. You know, um, and there's always networking sessions, but there are moments when students feel, I need to do it right now. Right now yes. So we have these various tools, support system. Okay. For example, we have a Livecast. Okay? okay, It's a platform where you're able to see which are the different jobs available. For example, business okay. analytics students, yes. which are the different jobs that I could look into? Yes. What are the top skills required? Right. Oh, are there jobs in Boston or Massachusetts, Massachusetts you know, yes. what is the salary package, right. you know, yes. do I really have it in me to kind of, you know, go and apply for this course program okay. and if they want to meet someone from the industry, we have something okay. called as a mentor link program okay. where we help students connect with alumni and uh, industry experts. Okay. So they can that's really have those one on one with wow. them and, you know, they can. So there's a constant support system. Wow. We have interest right again where it's a good platform because inter international students always say, I, there are 100 jobs. How do I know which one is which for one the is international, for international students? students yes. And is this company really reliable? How many H1B yes. visas have they sponsored? sponsored. You know, uh, do they have, uh, have they taken students earlier for earlier OPT for and CPT? Yes. So students are able to study the history right, of right. the company. So it gives them, you know, so they're not just doing a lot of work. That's one space. They get to see it. They, uh, it's not very time consuming again. Right, right. They know where to click, where to go. So I think we, and then if they need some additional course program to okay. meet the skills that is required for certain specific, uh, you okay. know, so jobs, means, we do have the course where as well on, which is free for students. Right. That means I can say WPI is providing the whole ecosystem, right? We do. We do. So I think it's a very fantastic podcast going on. And the last two questions I have for Deepika, first is that uh, business school always having a rigid requirement. And lots of students are facing issues like currently if you can say if, if student have a 15 year of education in india like bcom bba and bsc something like that do your university is providing master degree for those kind of student or means there will be any additional requirement or are you accepting 15 year education or not so we accept the three year degree from mm -hmm. a nac a accredited university or institution mm -hmm. um and the four year degree of course okay so that yeah. means like 15 year of education is accepted and four year degree is also accepted right yes okay great great can you tell me additional uh, additional requirement of wpi so my our viewers can get to know that this before they are applying they need to take care of these things right okay great so uh for the business course for all our course programs we look at a minimum gpa mm -hmm. of about three on four mm -hmm. so that would be a cgpa more than seven okay uh, but if you're in the borderline also you can look at applying to us okay. because sometimes okay. some of the students we've seen from my experience that they have really good scores in their core subjects right, right, so right. we do a more holistic review is what okay. i would say yeah uh, the second is the english proficiency test course we accept IELTS, TOEFL and Duolingo. These okay. are the three tests. IELTS is a minimum seven, TOEFL is 90, 90. and Duolingo is 115. 115 okay. um, yeah, so this is the main requirement. But okay. for specific course programs, if you see our courses, they are all majorly in mm -hmm. analytics. analytics. So right. we look at your stats scores. Okay. Uh, so there are students who have done stats in their undergraduate. Okay. And some students say engineering must have done a mathematics one, okay. mathematics two. So they just need to justify in their statement of purpose that they do have stats okay. knowledge. Okay. Uh, we do have a metrics as well, which we have designed for students okay. that they can talk about, you know, their knowledge if they have basic, uh, you know, understanding of statistics right. or advanced. Okay. So we definitely help students. Uh, so we don't go outright and reject students. Okay. We want to understand. So we do email students asking, do you have and these requirements okay. and help us with more additional oh, information. Okay. Great. Yes. That, that will be really great because... Uh, at the end because lots of university give uh, blind rejections without giving information so students feel that my uh, application fees got wasted but right. it's a good at WPI that you always give a recommendation these are the thing is needed Absolutely. for evaluations and I would like to add another thing is that a lot of students who are non-tech students yes yeah right today everything is all about tech okay. and requirements are so stringent in most universities is that how do I end up 
in the tech world. Tech world yeah. So I would like the students to come and ask more questions on okay. that. We do have options for students, okay. uh, you know, where non-tech students can also get into tech programs. Yes, sure. And on last question I have for you. Yeah. If suppose any student got admission in WPI Business School, and if the person is going for visa interview, we know that we are not the counselor or we are not the certified counselor or advocate. But on a on a lighter note, what advice you can give to students like how they can perform and how they can cater the answer like why this university? Only few couple of points uh, you can give it from your experience uh, regards to the WPA. Wow, visa. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it totally depends on the question that they ask. But some mm. of the things that you would one student should know if they are applying to WPI. Uh, universities all you know these interviewers want to know if you're going to a reputed university for which course program okay uh, you know are they popular for these course programs okay. so it's very easy to justify some of the points I would like to say is that mm -hmm. they all, uh, you know they can talk about WPI being uh, you know being one of the top hundred you know ranked university in the US, in the US. In the US. Uh, so that's one uh, second is depends on the course program again. Right. For example, if I would say say operations and supply chain supply analytics, chain. if they want to talk about why WPI, then okay. they can talk about we rank number five in the US okay. um, and we rank 39 across the okay. globe. That could be a great answer. Right. When students are looking at business analytics, right, right. there are some students who are very they, they want to do some specializations in say marketing uh -huh. or operations so they can talk about the different specialization options that we uh -huh. have right, right. Uh, the project-based learning expertise that we have on campus these are some of the good examples that they can talk about okay. yeah. um, and I think our curriculum is very strong again okay. uh, you know we also have uh, and they also sometimes students always prep up you know which are the faculties, faculties again yes, you know the thing, teaching, yes. the teaching the course program and yes. you know what kind of Very projects that they have done right uh, so Research there's plenty of information that's yes. available with us that we right. you know share with students which makes it very easy for them to kind of talk about why they relate to this program and how they're looking forward to working with a right. professor, you know, and they want to, uh, you know, get a opportunity for research assistantship, okay. teaching assistantship on campuses. So these are some of the great, um, you know, points for students. Right. Right. There are many more. We can many go more. on. Yes, we can go <laughs> Depending on. Depending on what course program the student has, uh, you know, uh, applied for. Uh, also, their background is very important, what they have studied and why this program and how this will help them uh, you know to grow their career Careers. Okay. so okay. yes great great so i think we are at the end of the podcast uh, thank you deepika for amazing insight about wpi university and i think in, in during this conversation i think we have missed a couple of points but that's fine you can just make a comment and definitely we will do an online session with deepika and we'll cater your answer as well because we are ready to support and she's also ready she is very enthusiastic about the wpi as well uh, and we got lots and lots of information about about WPI during this podcast so viewers please if you have any question just drop a comment and we will definitely set up a, a another session for you and thank you for watching this video and I, we believe it's going to be a very helpful for sure thank you and bye-bye bye-bye thank you so much thank you.